All right, let's talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers, the undefeated Steelers football team heading into a massive battle of the unbeatens week three home opener for Pittsburgh and coach Mike Tomlin and the Steelers team has just made a smart move to correct their biggest problem. I'm Nick and this is Saturday morning inspection. All right, so the Steelers have found a way to battle through to get two early season victories. They're 2-0, and of course. Has been a little ugly at times, but Mike Tomlin and the Steelers team has just made a move to correct one of their biggest problems, and that has been the penalties issue. Let's throw up this latest report, courtesy of SI.com. After nine penalties in week one, the Steelers have the second most penalties accepted against them in the league. Only Cleveland has more. Can always count on the Browns to make everybody look good there. Uh, the number of mistakes has caused head coach Mike Tomlin to pay his practice referees overtime in preparation for their home opener. Those of you that normally follow us know that we normally bring in officials on Friday for practice, said Tomlin during Tuesday's weekly press conference. We're bringing in officials on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. I believe that's appropriate given our last outing in that regard of not playing penalty free. There's been a lot of talk about the Steelers offensive execution. There's been a lot of talk about what's going to happen for this team going forward is fields long-term. I think he deserves to be until he proves he shouldn't be, but the reality is penalties have been a huge problem through two weeks for the Steelers team, getting it corrected during the practice week. is what you got to do. I love this move by Mike Tomlin and the Steelers. Myers, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this, but first Pittsburgh fans in the comment section below, big time, kind of surprising, big time matchup. Exciting. You've got old school football, smash mouth football here. Los Angeles Charger with the Los Angeles Chargers, excuse me, with the fighting Jim Harbaugh's against your Pittsburgh Steelers. It's going to be a physical, feels like a 1970s kind of battle. Home opener. What other place would you rather have this matchup? Give us your prediction. Final score, Steelers, Chargers. Put it in the comment section below. But, Mize, what are your thoughts on this latest news here for the Steelers? Yeah, Nick, I, I think this is big, and I think you brought it up. You talk about the, the two first matchups. This Chargers matchup is a little different. You can squeak by the Falcons. You can squeak by the Broncos. But you can't squeak by the Chargers. This is a much better caliber of team. Team that has better caliber offense. And frankly, the penalties, they're not going to cut it. Because we saw what happened in the last couple of weeks. The big TJ Watt strip sack brought back because of an offsides penalty. Right or not, still penalty on the field. Couple really big George Pickens catches get brought back. You know, Broderick Jones gets called for holding a couple, like three t different times. Really dampers your offense when you make a big time, huge play. George Pickens makes crazy George Pickens like catches. Then all of a sudden, that yellow flag hits the field and things get called back. That is the detriment of an offense, especially we're not talking about Ben Roethlisberger, seasoned veteran out there. We're not talking about, you know, Terry Bradshaw's of old. We're not talking about Pittsburgh still a great quarterback. We're talking about Justin Fields, a guy who's fighting to prove that he can make it in the league. He needs all the help he can get. These penalties are not suiting this offense well. So I love what Tomlin's doing here. He's saying, hey, we might be playing fast and loose in practice. And I mentioned it. Got a lot of great playmakers. TJ Watt, great playmaker. George Pickett, great playmaker. But we've got to dial it in during the week. We've got to cut down on the penalties because if we can't play clean football, we talk about this on our film reviews all the time. Clean football is the most important thing because if you don't play clean football, you're, nothing you do really counts because it's going to get called back. So I, I love this by Tomlin, making it you know kind of like saying, hey, we're going to get refs in practice. Everything's called all throughout the week. We are going to cut down on these penalties. I think it's great going forward, and I think this is going to help them out major against the Chargers. Oh, absolutely, especially when you consider the fact that this is a really kind of completely different Steelers team, certainly on offense. Look, we all know different quarterback, but we've got essentially two rookie starters on the offensive line. You've got a new guard in there as well. You've got a different wide receiver core in terms of how it's structured. Obviously, Pickens is still number one, but a different depth chart than what we've seen in years past. And we have a new offensive coordinator in Arthur Smith. So it's a completely do dynamic for the Steelers offense. And there's going to be some issues with execution and penalties and things like that. You just got to iron that out during the game planning during practice, right? And I think that's what Tomlin realizes is that, okay, look, when we get into the game, we can't still be trying to figure out our timing and our communication, get our hand and feet out of the whack, get dumb penalties, motion penalties, holding penalties. 
Let's figure all that stuff out during the week, get it resolved. And the way you do that is you bring in referees that are going to call the penalties. And usually what coaches do when they bring in refs, they make them call it a lot tighter in practice to kind of clean up the offensive execution and how the defense reacts as well. So that way, when it comes time to the game, the risk of penalties drop dramatically. And I think it's a smart move by the Pittsburgh Steelers because if you take away the penalties, interestingly enough, you wouldn't know this with the narratives going around, the Steelers' offense has been, actually been pretty efficient, all things considered. According to PFF, they have the 16th best offense in the entire National Football League. But here's where it gets really interesting. So the Steelers have a passing grade right now, according to PFF, higher than the Detroit Lions, higher than uh, the Baltimore Ravens, higher than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, right? So this is a team that at this point, from a passing offense perspective, PFF grade, is outperforming passing teams. Now, look, small sample size. They're obviously not going to go out there and be like the, the killer B eras. But when they actually execute and they're not trying to overcome penalties, they are very, very, very efficient throwing the football. A lot of that is due to Justin Fields. A lot of that is due to the talent they have at wide receiver. Let's give some credit to Arthur Smith as well. It's clearly night and day between Canada and Smith. But I tell you what, cleaning up the penalties here, and we're going to start seeing the Steelers team put some consistently scoring drives together. They're going to score a lot more than what we've seen over the past two weeks. Because really, if you look at the efficiency, if you look at the film, they're a lot better than the raw numbers look at. The analytics show how good they are. They just got to clean up some issues. And I think addressing the penalty issue like they have bringing in refs is a smart way to do it.